Hello, today we are talking about our newest core beer here at Dogfish Head 61, and we're actually in our inordinately Germanic 200 barrel brew house. You may occasionally hear the firing, pneumatic firing of the Sofa King Hoppy continual hopping device on our 100 barrel brew house next door. Uh, and behind me is the newest generation continual hopping device on our 200 barrel brew house, which uh, should be up and running uh, in late July here in Milton, Delaware. This beer was actually born right down the road from here in my hometown of Lewis, Delaware. Uh, we have a tradition among my friends when our summer friends finally arrive at the beach around Memorial Day, we all meet at this great restaurant called Half Full for pizzas and 60 minutes. But we got in the habit, I would order a, a great glass of Pinot Noir and me and my buddies after not seeing a lot of them for over the winter, would get around to 60 minutes and take a big pull on our 60 minute and then kind of put a, a big wallop of the uh, Pinot Noir into those pint glasses, which gave it a beautiful uh, red color and intense uh, wine character. And I love that so much that I thought maybe we can capture this and put it into a bottle. And R&D at Dogfish sometimes is a, a elaborate and lengthy process. And with this beer, it took about a year of development. Um, we tried the Pinot Noir grape must in the 60 minute, and it was too tannic. Uh, we tried uh, the red, uh, we tried our red uh, Zinfandel, sorry, someone's busting through the wall. Tried a red Zinfandel must, didn't work. And then Tim, our brewmaster and the crew, uh, found that Syrah was actually the best partner. So how it goes is a truckload, a tanker truck cooled so that wild yeast doesn't activate. Uh, starts its journey from California, and when it gets to about Ohio, we mash in 60 minute. Uh, and by the time 60 minutes at high croissant and the yeast is super vigorous, that tanker arrives and we dose the Syrah grape must in gently uh, during fermentation, which kind of weaves the, the fruity flavors into the taste of the beer, not just sitting on top in the aroma of the beer. So when you try 61, you'll notice that it's got a beautiful IPA hop character, but then it's got this really unique uh, complexity, red wine complexity. Uh, you might think it's uh, going to be sweet, but it's actually uh, kind of dry. It's a fantastic food beer, goes great with chocolate, very homemade label. I actually painted myself using watercolors that instead of water had the red wine in, in, the, uh, in with the red pigment. The 60 minute was used for the green and taking a page out of Warhol's book, melted chocolate uh, is the brown because this beer pairs beautifully with chocolate among so many other foods. You can hear all the banging and the hammer in here because we're working really hard to get you more uh, 61. Uh, it's running out, it's been really, really popular. Track it down, enjoy it with your friends. Cheers.